As the world stands at the threshold of a new year, people make resolutions to reflect on the pattern of the past while considering how to break free from the vicious cycle of failed resolutions. However, experts emphasize the need to identify simple mistakes hindering people from achieving their new year resolutions. New Central Zomolola Ololadi tells us more. Nigerians in the new year are phrases like New Year, New Me, reflecting the new year resolutions made by people to improve on only one area of their life or the need to completely change everything. As a kid, we overemphasized on it. Or as an adult, maybe like, okay, this year more of humanitarian assistance. Let me move closer to God. Let me heighten my spiritual work with God. Yeah, that's so that's what is good. Because I see it like every other day. There's some people are tasked if you can't. Uh, on it, but I personally I don't believe in that. I believe every day is like every day. It's the same 24 hours a day. So I have um, a lot of resolutions, um, and I know I will try my best possible to keep to them this year. A New Year resolution is a tradition in which a person resolves to continue good practices, change an undesired trait or behavior, or accomplish a personal goal. While it is easy to set these New Year resolutions, determining to achieve every one of them becomes a challenge for most people, hence causing failed resolutions even before the end of the first month. Development coaches, however, say setting New Year resolution is important, but identifying the do's and don'ts of these resolutions is more crucial to achieving your set goals for the year. So what I think is fundamentally wrong is people get the pattern wrong, right? We be because before we do and then before we have. It's called the be do have model. It's a, it's a principle. You become and then you do and then you have. So most times we want to have those things without being that person who can achieve those things. So when people mm -hmm. set goals, I personally don't set um, New Year resolutions. I don't write those things down. What I do is... I set the goal, which is one word, my theme for the year. So I work with theme of the year, I identify who I want to become in that year. What is my vision for the year? And then when you identify who you want to become, and then that is where you begin to write down your goals of becoming. Is first of all, being before doing. Now, when we talk about that, it's actually talking about the mindset. How you do one thing is how you do everything. Now, if you see it well, how you start the day determines how you follow through all the day. And this has to talk about the way you program yourself. Because if the programming is wrong, the output is going to be wrong. Although not everyone believes in New Year resolutions, according to life coaches, the belief decision-making skill is a leadership skill everyone must possess, not only to actualize resolutions made at the start of the year, but throughout one's lifetime. In Lagos, for News Central, I am Omolola Ololade. Pensioners in Abia State have expressed their displeasure over the New Year message of Governor Alex Oti. Governor Oti had in his New Year broadcast declared the inability of his government to offset the pension arrears by December 31st, 2023. The governor said the reality after verification of the pensioners showed that they needed more money that was earmarked for the exercise. New Central's Chinwe Ugele has details in this report. The 31st of December 2023 was supposedly the last day for the government to clear all outstanding arrears concerning salaries and pensions, according to Governor Alex Oti's promise. It therefore hit the people badly when it dawned on them that the year was not ending on a happy note. I feel so bad. I feel so bad because we we hope that uh, uh, that Alex Oti, the promise he made to us, even before the election, that we uh, fulfill it, and there was there was money to fulfill it. Part of their disappointment came from knowing that their plan for the money has equally failed. He assured us that the money the money is down to pay us. So we build our budget and everything on that, hoping that everything will be fine before the new year. So, but uh, to our surprise, uh, the same thing. Mr. Emeka Chibu, a journalist, says 
The situation has put both the government and the pensioners in a tight situation. Pay attention, pay particular attention to what is on ground. In, in terms of, like, for instance, the issue with the pensions, the actual number of pensioners should be known. And the amount it will, will take to take care of the backlog should be known. Because when you don't have these facts, you tend to promise and then you fail. Not because you want to, but because of the, uh, uh, the situation that you have found yourself in. He, however, called for patience as demanded by Governor Alex Oti in order to still give him the benefit of the doubt. But they should be patient. It, it's their money, and uh, we hope, based on the promises made by the governor, we're going to come through in the next three months like, to still come to them. So let them just, we plead with them to calm down just a little bit. That the council is working hard to pay with the governor. We are working on modalities. Part of what the pensioners expect to receive is part of their monthly pensions, which had been deducted by the government since June 2023. In Omaha, for New Central, I am Chinwe Ugele.